All right, guys. Some shit went down yesterday. A lot of you were there. Mm. Half of you weren't. And um, Cypress got real f***ing hot. We've known this for weeks already. The PDR are all over us. We got to do something about it. We're not prepared. We weren't prepared yesterday. But we learned from our mistakes. So moving forward, we got to come up with a plan to make sure that the shit that happened yesterday don't happen again. Ten of us went down. And we popped 11 of them. Six of them went to the hospital. But that's not enough. We had plenty of people yesterday to take them all out. But we f***ed it up. <laughs> okay, I wasn't expecting this angle. So, who here can, um, can place cameras down? News cameras. I can. There's a, there's a good amount Step of people that can. Okay, I like this, I like this, right. I like this. I need all of you to buy cameras and start getting them placed as soon as we have a group pushing, uh, pushing Malta down here. Capiche? Capiche? Yes, sir. Mateo's locked up for 73 f***ing years. 73 f***ing years. $200,000 fine. He ain't gonna see his grandma on Christmas. Send some flowers to his mama. Mm. Take care place of his kids, Clark, and his wife. That's my daughter. You place those cameras down wherever you think the PD might, uh, might have a visual, visual on us. And as soon as we get a visual of them, we gotta either take them out or get f***ing ready for, uh, for the heat in our rooftops and Listen, the PD, look, they're f***ing up good, okay? They're getting stronger. They're getting bigger. I mean, if you guys were at the auction earlier, they're rolling deep with fucking assault rifles. I think we yeah. as a crew, we accumulated over $1.5 million in fines last night. All right? We had, a, we had a group, obviously, you know, had the situation with the shootout. Then they were going to jail. But uh, DOC came down to pick them up on a fucking bus. And I was their lawyer, so I tipped off fucking Ilya. And then they got a fucking death squad to go there. And break him out. And successfully, he did that. So we got a couple of people on the run. That's why Clark is dressed like fucking shit. That's why Lucia's on the, in, in disguise. And listen, these guys aren't going back without a fucking fight. So if shit's going down and you're on call, we expect you to fucking drop everything and get ready to fucking sacrifice everything to get these guys out. Shit is hot as fuck in Cyprus right now. This is why we're meeting in here. No more fucking cameras. No cops chilling on top of fucking bridges watching us for fucking three hours. Just to fucking bust us later. They were watching us for one hour before they stormed in. One, one fucking fu hour. One fucking hour. They had fucking photos of everything. Fucking handoffs, guns. Thank God nobody was going in and out of fucking warehouses. We would have been fucked there too. Yeah. When you're pushing, you're pushing on high alert. If you're on Cyprus, you're keeping an eye out for those that are pushing. All right? Your head on a swivel all times. This is a fucking war zone down here. And it's going to be that way forever. A beautiful alley cannot be a place for us to sell anymore. It's way too open. So we need to come up with a next, uh, next location of sales. Where's it going to be? You guys can go back into, into the line. <laughs> um, well, we got to stay honest. I think Sionis might be the best spot. The construction Not there, people, people can take fucking roofs. I mean, if you can even just push in here, I would start chilling in here, just start fucking pushing in here and let the cops come uh, in you, here. You can't push in here. Customers won't walk in through the door. But uh, sometimes we do use the cow pens right over to the yeah, side. Yeah, what about like we used the to do it back in the days when we used to uh, just the outside here. We can't use yeah. that because you can you, hold down like all angles there. Mm -hmm. You can be on the roof, yeah. Uh, I've yeah. Push there. That, that's where we started, like, we started good using good places, you know, like, the Abru Alley is good, but it's way too close to our uh, houses too, you know? Mm -hmm. It literally takes you two seconds to see somebody walking from there to the corner to the, to one of the warehouses and it's game over, you know? I, I would say if you are pushing whatever you're wearing, Speak you up, have Queenie. to change. Uh, oh, sorry. If you are pushing, before you even go into the stables or the warehouse, make sure you change your clothes completely. Do not be wearing the exact same clothes that you were wearing while pushing and walking into any of the other buildings. Same thing with vehicles. Change your fucking vehicle. Get a stolen mm -hmm. car. Don't be using your own shit. I mean, you can. Just make sure you fucking get out. Yes. Look, guys, look, know, guys. Don't, don't and, have to and, and two of you motherfuckers last night, I'm not going to name fucking names, okay? Had over 100 fucking baggies of weed on you guys. Apparently, the cops are going to fucking lock your shit up already, motherfuckers, because they were too lazy to fucking do it, but they could have. So, you know, carry a little bit of fucking bags, have some bags stashed away. Don't be carrying a fucking hundred bags. You guys are getting too fucking comfortable out there. Cyprus is a fucking war zone. Every fucking goddamn day the cops come down here. They fuck with nobody else. They fuck with us every fucking day. 
They'll be carrying around 100 plus baggies. Don't take that risk. It's not worth it. I ain't going to name names. You know who you are. God nah. damn it. That is something important here, guys and girls. Okay, let's do this. So I understand yesterday when the police came, most of you guys were running, right? Because you're thinking we dip, dip, dip. But look at the situation, okay? When you're just two, three people selling, they roll in, you can dip, right? Makes sense, because, you know, most likely you're not going to get away from shooting them, right? But when we fucking, like, look at around you how many we are. If it's so many of us fucking selling, when they call through, you fucking all got to decide to blap on the spot. You got to all be ready to blap. Because that is the biggest test, right? What's the point of running away from three cops when we fucking 20 people? You get what I'm saying? You gotta be smarter, you know, just be quick on it, quick on it. Just on the spot, stop blapping. Everybody be on the same page. If you two, three people, run. If you deep, stay and fight. Yeah. But obviously, put, a, put your motor, so throw your motor in mid-fight, whatever. Them, just throw your motor somewhere else, you know, start fighting. Basically, get on the black and then immediately figure out, all right, if we get fucking stormed, where am I going? Who am I going with? Same thing uh, whenever we're at war with uh, any other gang. What kind of rooftop am I taking? What radio are we going to be on? What's the backup radio going to be? All these things got to be strategized. And everybody in Cyprus got to know about it. Not just the pushers. Yo. Communication is important. All right? Can't be getting caught and lacking out there. Everybody understand? Mm -hmm. yes, sir. Yes, sir. yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Nah. Yes, sir. We need armored boys. Armor, 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 armor. I got to repeat this, okay? I know some of you guys sometimes have, you know, shoot out the police, this and that, right? We ain't targeting police, But if you got the opportunity, take that fucking armor and fucking dip. Don't take their guns. That's not worth it. Don't take anything from them except the armor, okay? You know, take the armor, make sure you have a mask. If you have the right opportunity when you're just chilling with your boys or girls, make sure we get a couple of them. We're the, one, of the few, we're one of the few gangs slash family, whatever, slash whatever we are. In the city, not who a family, don't not have a family. Not, not a family. family. Not a family. Not a, not a fucking family. family. Not a family. Like, we are one of the few people who don't have armor. Every time we go to conflict with somebody, you see they're rolling through. They have like fucking 10 extendos, 5 armor, 20 plates. All our people got one gun, no armor. Like, get that armor. I know you guys are out there working. We need more armor. Make sure you guys get us some. You know what I'm saying? It's important. Understood. All right. All right. Just, just remember as well, you know, you have your fucking captains. The captains have their fucking enforcers. They know who they are. You should know who they are. If you don't, talk to the people to find out who the fuck they are and respect the structure here. I so. Mm -hmm. I remember. That's... I remember. Last thing too, three hundred thousand dollar bounty on, on on Simon's head, Cy Cunningham. Three hundred thousand dollar bounty if brought to us alive. Two hundred thousand if his dead body is brought to us. Just keep that in mind. Mm. Oh, I I forgot. Also twenty k from my personal pocket to you guys. For every three days, you guys go without getting caught. I'm talking to the boys that uh, are wanted by policia for the uh, for the thing yesterday. Every three days, you make it. I give you 20k myself. Okay. All right. It's come to me. All right. Any questions, concerns, suggestions? Speak now. Uh, I got one. Go ahead. Uh, yesterday, we mapped out Cyprus and uh, kind of. Uh, decided like call outs for where we're gonna be at. You know what? Fuck it. Half a million on side Cunningham, Cunningham's head brought to us alive. <laughs> half a million dollars. 500k. Mm. 500k from Luciano. 500k from Lang. Find that cockroach. Half a million dollars. Remember, boy. Find that fucking cockroach. Just, it's just 500k yes, from Lang. Yes, sir. Actually, sorry. I'm go ahead, ball. I got real language thinking about side. <laughs> nah, nah. You're good. You're good. He also uh, chills with people at EMC. So we gotta take all of them out for 500k. Fuck him. Where are we sending about the map? Uh, yeah, yeah. So yesterday, we uh, after everything went down, we drove around and we kind of like decided call out so that when stuff did hit the fan, we could uh, talk on radio and communicate with each other about where we were, where we saw people. So everyone needs to be on the same page regarding like what the call outs are. You know what I mean? Yeah, yeah. Just uh, names for uh, specific places because uh, it was a shit show yesterday over the radio and all that. Um, we did assign names to uh, certain certain parts. Um, we're just trying to keep it basic, you know? Just, just listen, we need listen, to know this more we're, than anybody else. We're going to make a beautiful fucking map and hand them out in fucking right. books for all you guys to fucking learn this area like the back of your fucking hands. And then we're going to quiz every single one of you. And if you fucking get one answer wrong, we're putting the fucking Cypress wires and you're never coming back up. That starts next week. Loco, put yep. on your fucking yes, board. Sir. 
I'm just doing it. All right. That being said, oh, happy fucking Friday. Happy Go fucking Friday. Make some chaos. Half a million. Half a million dollars in your pocket. If you bring Cy Cunningham alive alone, that's half a million in your pocket. You got to share with nobody. Mm. Mm. Keep it tight, yes, everybody. Protect the do people Do what you got to do to grab the know? fucking rat. I don't give a fuck if he's in the fucking den of Hydra. You take him out. He's in the den of fucking ADMC. You take him out. You bring him alive. 200,000 for dead, all right? Yes, sir. All right. For Cyprus. For Cyprus. Loco, this is your destiny. Go find his ass, man. This is what you're good at. Go find his ass, bitch. That's right, right now. I got you. I got you. And remember, no, and, no, the last fucking thing. He's a fucking perfect example when you get plagued with fucking jealousy. All right? Now, the fucking little rat cockroach mm. was fucking jealous because people are fucking climbing the ranks around here, and he thought he was deserving of that fucking rank. Look what happened to him. If you don't get what you fucking deserve, don't fucking bitch about it. If you're not getting promoted, there's a fucking reason for it. Figure that out internally. Look in a fucking mirror. You turn into a jealous prick, you're next on the fucking list. Fucking rats. Now, before you guys get out of here, we're going to end the Friday with Loco singing us a song. Right now. Hey, hey, no, 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 no. Right now, Loco. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Get, the, Loco, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. They, they, they say fucking high school. They say fucking high school. Get the fuck out of here. 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 Start leaving. Start leaving. Martin, hang back. Get out of here, man. You got saved, Loco. You got fucking saved. Martin, hang back, man. All right. Hey, can I talk to someone real quick first? Yeah, you got two minutes. Yo, Clark, come here.